Welcome to Bipolar Brilliance. Today I'm going to talk about patience or the lack thereof. And so because I'm not having a whole lot of it right now, it is going to be very brief. Um, sometimes it's really hard to unravel patience closely related to anxiety, irritability. Sometimes it can be a, a symptom of hypomania. Sometimes it's just like too much caffeine not enough sleep, not enough food, or just whatever. Does it really matter? I don't know. That's not really what I want to try to unpack today. It's really just what have I done successfully just over the last couple of days to take myself out of a state of utter impatience, anxiety, agitation, you know, that just like skin crawling feeling if you have anxiety or kids or both <laughs> or uh maybe you can relate so <sighs> the first is an exercise of being in the present and the only way that we really can experience contentment is in the present so just give it a try you'd be surprised <laughs> Say to yourself, or even out loud, five things that you can see. And then, four things that you can hear. Three things that you can feel or touch. Two things you can smell. And one thing that you can taste. Maybe there's a taste in your mouth. And... It has really a great way of just bringing me to the present. And um, I find that sometimes that anxiety and impatience, which go hand in hand for me, happen when I'm either ruminating about something in the past. Um, that self-critic voice is generally about something that's already happened that can't change. And that's part of my story. It may or may not be yours. Or worrying about something in the future. Um, and the, there's a saying that if you got one foot in the past and one foot in the future, then you're kind of pissing on the present. And I think there's some truth to that. So, and then the other thing that I thought about is that patience is task specific. So, I might have run out of patience for... Um, pouring paints for my two-year-old that um, I know isn't actually using them and <laughs> so on and so forth. And yet I can switch places with my partner and I have the patience to cook dinner right now. Now I'm not much one for cooking and cleaning so a lot of the time I don't have the patience for that and I'd rather be the one um, putting stickers on unicorns and things like that. It really just depends on the moment. And so, as G.I. Joe used to say, knowing is half the battle. But I like to think it's more like a third of the battle. Because that's part of it is knowing. And then the other third is sort of remembering in the moment that we need to know what to do. And then the last part of it is actually doing it. So that's what I got for today. As usual, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm just an individual with lived experience of recovery from mental illness and addiction. And this is um, my attempt to help myself and help others. So thanks for tuning in. If this helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you did try this in the comments below what you thought. And we will catch you back again soon. Bye.